Someone needs to explain to me why it is that gas stations and convenience stores seem to be the go-to setting lately for horror games. What's up everyone, my name is Swift Edge and welcome to Shop Shift. We play as a young woman named Jessie who got a job at a convenience store. Woohoo! You know what? There's a lot of people not able to work at this current time. They're having a hard time finding a job, so that's great. Found a job. Only problem is, apparently, she's got a fan, aka a stalker. How is it that you only just recently got a job at a at this place and already you have someone who is obsessed with you this has to be someone who maybe followed you from an old job school something which is just terrifying when you think about it you think about how many content creators and influencers and celebrities and all these other people who are just like big names and everything you hear their stalker stories and it's terrifying so i don't even know what i would do if i was in jesse's shoes or in anyone other... actually no i know what i do uh taser taser and bodyguard I don't know if Jesse has that. Let's go ahead and start this game and see. Maybe she's got some protection. Are you sure? Yes! Wasn't prepared for that! Thank you for that! Getting my nerves up already. You should not work the night shift. Okay. JC, I thought it was Jesse. Sorry! I misread that on the HO page. I can handle it. That wasn't much of a debate. That wasn't much of an argument. That was, uh, you shouldn't work night shift. Oh, I can handle it. Okay, bye. That's all I need. I'm gonna go play Xbox. Like, my dude. What? You didn't, you didn't put up my, you didn't put up much of a fight. Um, what's up with your face? Hi, Eric. <laughs> okay, it looks like one of those me's. Remember on the Nintendo Wii where sometimes you could take a picture of yourself and it would just, you know, it looks like that. Hi, Eric. JC, are you ready to replace me? Yes. Well, then I'm off. Good luck. Okay, um... Uh, that was so fast. By the way, nice outfit. Those pants are... Those look like they're a galaxy-style pants. The pattern. Hi. By the way, we just normally call you all customers. We don't really call them clients. At least here. Hello, pack of cigarettes, please. You know these things will kill you, right? That would be six dollars, though. Thanks. Why are you yelling at me? Oh my god. Oh my god. You can. You're actually following me. That's kind of weird. You know. You got to. You. You. You vaguely resemble the. The. The first person. Are you guys twins? Hi. Pack of chips. Um. Two dollars. You. You do know you can go, over here to grab your snacks, right? Usually, what you do is. Okay. Break. It's actually counting down for a break. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Um, am I allowed to... Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't leave. You're on break. Technically, you can. Also, I've never known a convenience store to just shut down despite someone being on break. Kind of weird, not gonna lie. Just shelf of products. Okay. Just shelf of products. I'm looking at the freezer. Just a freezer. Well, in case we got sound effects that are just on loop. Would be nice to, you know... Add some like creepy undertone, some ambiance, something. Pretty sure there's like literally files you can download that are just titled ambiance. Although if you did that right now, I'd be kind of pissed. Yeah. Uh, also, key thing when saying pack of chips, normally you put it on the. Is that broken glass or bugs? You usually put it on the counter so I can ring it through. You don't really have to tell me, hey, I'm just gonna grab a bag of chips. It'd be kind of weird if I just walked into a 7-Eleven and I was like, hey, yo, I want to buy a chocolate bar to bag of chips can you just bring it up from here i don't want to even bother i just want to grab it and go no it doesn't work like that if it worked like that it'd be amazing the smoothest service in the world break is over okay let's go you guys are all wearing interesting clothes i'm kind of jealous majority of my clothes are black mainly because i am not that slim and so i like to wear something that's a little bit it it, it makes me look not so bad okay I'm trying to hit the gym Pack of nugs and one beer. Wait, we have eight dollars. Well, it's a convenience store, so you'd be surprised at what's in some convenience stores. So it wouldn't actually surprise me if uh, there was box of chicken nuggets. Hello, sir. Hello. Hi. What can I do for steak in a pack? Hold the phone. What gas station slash convenience store is selling steak? The beer I get. The steak. That's where I draw the line. If you want a good steak, you don't come to a convenience store. You go to a butcher shop or a deli. That's within one of the grocery stores because usually they got some nice, decent cuts. Not the best. It's not superb. 
But it's better than going to a convenience store! $25. Thanks. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, I don't need to wonder if you're the weird creepy dude, because look at your standing and also the sound effect. Did no one else hear that? It's just me. Hi. Hello. Oh, no, it's gotta be creepy. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> you're beautiful. That's probably breaking someone's ear. I'm, I'm sorry if that's loud. Uh, thanks. Do you have a boyfriend? And he'll kick your butt. Are you going to buy something? <laughs> yes, a pack of gum. Uh, that'll be a dollar. <laughs> Thanks. End of shift. I don't... I don't... I don't know if I, I'm... Dude, I don't want to go outside. I can't leave. But it's the end of my shift! What do you mean? Um, I think I broke the door. Dude, I broke the door! Oh, there. There we go. Um, okay, why do I have to be right up to it to be able to do anything? Um, so, we're not gonna talk about how creepy that was, that interaction. Dude, I literally broke this door. I have literally broken this door. I broke your game, Dev. I'm sorry. So, what am I supposed to do now that my shift's over? Is this where I die? Is this where I die? It's two minutes until I die. I thought I heard something else, and that freaked me out a little bit. The fact that there's lack of music, there's lack of a lot of more ambient tones, all you have is crickets. It's adding this actual chill to me right now, and I don't know how to react to it. I, this is where you have a baseball bat behind the counter. I worked at a pawn shop, had a baseball bat, never really had to grab it, never needed it, never felt like it was necessary. I could always under, undertake the situation. I could always calm it down if anything was getting a little too heated with people. So it was never like, oh no. But I couldn't imagine working at a 24 hour late night where you have someone who is, you know, maybe not in the greatest mindset. Who, you know, could also be a little bit stalkerish, obsessive. And just kind of work it by yourself and not have that level of protection. I couldn't imagine that. I See, and I'm hearing different sounds every now and then. And it's throwing me off. So I don't know how to feel. Um, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Because the time is just counting down. I can't jump. I was kind of hoping to jump on the boxes. I have a feeling the timer's going to count down. Michael's going to show up in his car. I'm going to go to leave, and that's when I'm going to get jumped. I'm going to get stabby-stabbed in the back, or I'm going to get kidnapped. One of the things is going to happen, okay? It's not going to end well for me. I know this. And I don't like it. I'm hating it. I'm just kind of talking to fill the void what I do when I'm uncomfortable. It's also what I do when I'm a little bit worried and scared. So you know what? I hope you're enjoying these last few seconds with me. Time to go home. Finally, I'm at home. Oh, we're... Nope. 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 Someone's in my house. Oh, God. Don't do this to me. Oh, God. Don't do this to me. Hello? You're alone? Who is it? I'm outside your door. Oh, my God. Oh, Okay, that, oh, that ending. I did not enjoy that. That was, that was shop shift. That, again, the lack of ambiance, the lack of music playing, lack of just anything, but just the crickets. Near the end, it started to get to me. It started creating chills. Yeah, this might have been like a pretty short game, but yeah, it's, it tickled the back of my neck with the creepiness. So that was good. Kind of wish that there was a little, like, a little bit more of maybe you could see someone passing by the window or something. Something like that would have been really cool. Maybe seeing the customers cl um, walking around. Because it was just like a bunch of jump cuts between clients and everything. So maybe just seeing something a little bit more fluid would have been really cool. But other than that, it was really good. Really enjoyed the creepiness of it. If you want to check it out for yourself and get the full experience, which I highly recommend that you should. Links in the description below. 
go and check it out. If you enjoyed this, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought about this. If there's any games you'd like to see me play for future videos or series, I just want to say for that, I know a lot of you are suggesting games. I am trying to budget my time so I can play them all, or, 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 I'm just going to do a gigantic stream playing a lot of your guys' suggestions. We can do something like that. We can do that, plan a day where I just play all your guys' suggestions. See how long of it- Oh god, that'll be such a long stream. Also depends on how long the games are. Oh, there's that. But if you're new around here and even enjoy what you're seeing, why not click that subscribe button and click that bell so you get notified of my next video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye!